Oh, oh, jackpot. This is like at the casino. All right. Hey everybody, Mrs. Capper here. It is Friday, April 3rd. And today I have a day off, so I'm gonna go out exploring again. Uh, but this time I am not going in the woods. Uh, mainly because until it freezes hard, I'm not going back out with all of the snakes. But one thing I wanted to do for quite some time is to do some metal detecting. And in particular, one area. Because we know from neighbors and from people who lived and grew up in the area a long time ago that there used to be an old wagon trail before there were roads uh, in this area that ran right back through our property. Uh, we know that there was like this old uh, store, it was like a dry goods store or something. And that was located somewhere right back here on the right. But this is the area that I'm gonna go look in. It's his food plot. Sorry, honey. Um, but we know that, like I said, this used to be that trail. Uh, we have found horseshoes here when we first moved here and we're starting to work up the land back here. Uh, I found several horseshoes back on this lane here. So I have my metal detector, uh, there's a pin pointer in the bag, and yes, I have my snake chaps. I don't think I'm going to need it uh, because I should be able to see if a snake is around here. I'm going to start back here and just do a couple sweeps and see what I can find. Oh, I see rust over here. Oh, here it is. All right, it's just an old, uh, I guess an old nail. Yeah, these are those broken pottery pieces that we're finding all over. Would love to have seen where that came from. I broke it up. Well, there it is. Not sure what it is. Might be just a tiny nail. I don't know, it was pretty close to the surface. Probably this right here. Another little piece of iron. Oh, check out this stone. It's laying in the field here. Look at that. I think it's ancient hieroglyphics. It's a symbol from the natives or Aztecs or whoever. What do you think? It is sandstone and it's a good possibility it's just been nicked over the years with farm equipment, but we can dream, right? I really need to go fish and look at that. All right, where are you? Oh, look at that, an old shell. Oh, right there. Another little gem. Hmm. Well, here's what it looks like another uh, metal ring or a cover.
Oh. Oh. All right. Well, that's probably from some farm equipment or horse equipment. Oh, how come I can't find Grandma's ring? Oh. Okay, well, hopefully this is a deer bone. I thought it was my metal that was beeping. Hmm. Okay, it wasn't. Oh, it's something right in there with it. That's it? It is. Interesting, right by a bone. And we don't even have to dig now for a couple of things. Look at this. This guy is just laying right here. Right on the ground. And then just right in front of that is this. Take it back home and clean it up. I don't know, I think I might have uh, better luck fishing. Look at that, nice yummy grub. Lots of old pottery. There's the white stuff. And there's even some brown ones in here. And just right over here, there was a nail laying right on the top. And it looks like an old tapered one. Nice. Definitely not lots of, uh, I don't know if they're wagon parts, farming implement parts. Lots of them around here. Here's a piece of uh, pottery that's blue. Would love to know how old it is and what it came off of. With us working up this land here, um, for a food plot anyway, you can see the gravel popping through. So it, it leads all the way down there and then it goes um, for a mile or so till it hits one of the main roads. Um, but this is the path that I'm trying to focus on. Because as you can see, goes right straight to the house and in that opening of those pine trees that's where that original road went through. Heck, maybe I'll find one of Joe's arrows that he, that he lost. I see something sticking out. So maybe this is the money maker that I can retire from. Oh, let's dig! Come on. Oh, it's, uh... Huh. Wow, that's the biggest and heaviest thing I've found yet. Not sure exactly what it was used for. There is a... It looks like a little ceramic cover in the ground here. Oh, look at that. Here's an easy pickings. Didn't even need the metal detector. I kind of tripped over it. Kind of like that snake, but I would much rather have this than the snake. Another goodie to keep. Well, I may not have discovered a lost civilization or found rare jewelry or even the money pit on, on Curse of Oak Island. I did have fun. 
Uh, it's amazing the things that you can find right out your back door. I would love to hear the history behind some of this stuff. Uh, looking at this, I thought it was a jar lid cover, but it's it's solid steel, so I have a feeling it came off of some kind of an implement. It was a lot of fun. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Probably never will. I would love to hear some of the history behind it, though, like I said. But, can you keep it? Not sure what we're going to do with it all. But sometimes it's not what you find. It's the adventure of going and looking. That was fun. I think I'll go back out there again. <laughs>